here is another viewer requested video. They're having problems laying out the stair stringer for this situation here. And I think the best way I could make sense out of this is to always remember if you have the lower floor and the upper floor and you measure the distance, this is your total rise. And then when I divide the amount of risers into that number, and that gives me, for example, seven and a quarter inches, which is what we have here. Well, that number is always going to represent the top of the finished step. So keep that in mind while we're watching the video here. Let's go ahead and throw some numbers in here. Seven and a quarter, seven and a quarter are individual riser height. And since we're using three quarter inch materials here, we're going to subtract three quarters of an inch off of the bottom of the stair stringer so that we can attach it to the floor and then end up with a seven and a quarter inch riser height. So hopefully that makes sense. Let's go ahead and head up to the top where we're going to have the same thing all the way up to the top. And since we're using the same materials for the floor sheathing, then everything should work out just fine. No problem here. But that's not going to be the case if we change the height of the floor sheathing to inch and an eighth plywood. And I think this is the problem that the individual was having. So if I just simply added an inch and an eighth plywood to the top of this, without lowering the height of the landing and the top of the stringer. Then I'm going to end up with a taller riser here. So let's take a look at these numbers over here. Four foot two, four foot three and an eighth. And this is the measurement from the top of the floor to the top of the floor. And this is a measurement to the top of the joist. So all I need to do to correct this will be to lay out my stringers in the same way going all the way up the stringer seven and a quarter inches until I get to the top. And that's when we will subtract the three eighths of an inch difference from this distance on our stringer layout. So seven and a quarter going all the way up until we get to this measurement here. And if we look over here, we're going to need to lower the floor height to make this work also. So again, I'm not going to have any problems as long as I understand that the top of the step and the top of the floor needs to represent each section of the individual riser. So for example, if I wanted to have a two inch tread here, then I would just simply adjust for it in the stringer. If I wanted to have a thicker tread and a thinner floor sheathing, then I'm going to adjust for it in the stringer. And hopefully that makes sense. However, I understand it might not make sense to everyone. So feel free to leave any questions that you might have in the comment area. And thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to visit our website. We have an organized list of our videos there. You might have a difficult time finding that anywhere else.